Ever wondered how you can run code without worrying about managing servers? Imagine scaling automatically with traffic spikes and paying only for what you use. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cloud Computing 101. Today we're diving into Google Cloud Functions, the magic behind serverless computing. That's right, Marco. Whether you're a developer looking to simplify your workflows or an enterprise aiming to enhance scalability, this video will walk you through everything you need to know about Google Cloud Functions. Traditional server management can be a headache. From provisioning to scaling, it requires constant attention and resources. But what if there was a way to focus solely on your code and let the platform handle the rest? Exactly. This is where Google Cloud Functions comes into play. It's a fully managed, event-driven, serverless platform that allows you to run code in response to events without the need to manage servers. Let's start by understanding what Google Cloud Functions really is. It's a function as a service platform that runs your code in response to events. Think of it as a small piece of code that gets executed when a specific event occurs. And it's fully managed, which means you don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure. Just write your code and deploy it. Google Cloud takes care of the rest, including scaling up and down based on the traffic. Curious about how it works? Let's dive in. Google Cloud Functions operate by triggering code execution in response to events. These events can come from various sources like HTTP requests, file uploads to cloud storage, or messages from PubSub. The function is triggered, code executes, and the result is delivered. No server management required, automatic scaling, and you only pay for the compute time and resources used. Wondering how to get started with cloud functions? Here's how. Getting started is straightforward. Write your logic in one of the supported languages like Go, Python, Java, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, or .NET. Deploy it using the console, API, or cloud SDK. You can trigger the function via HTTP request, file uploads to cloud storage, events in Pub, Sub, or Firebase, or even a direct call via the command line interface. But how secure are cloud functions? Let's find out. Security is paramount. Using Identity and Access Management, IAM, you can define who can access your functions. Additionally, VPC controls allow for network-based access management. This ensures that your applications are secure and compliant with industry standards. And what about the cost? Let's break it down. One of the biggest advantages is the pricing model. It's pay-as-you-go, which means you only pay for the compute time, memory, and number of events processed. Plus, there's no cost when the function is idle. This makes it a cost-effective solution especially for startups and small businesses looking to optimize their cloud spending. Excited to see real-world applications? Cloud functions have a wide range of applications. From integration with third-party services and APIs to real-time file processing and mobile backends, the possibilities are vast. Some specific examples include IoT processing, real-time machine learning, virtual assistants, and serverless mobile backends. The flexibility it offers is incredible. Don't miss our next video with a deep dive into these scenarios. Ava, thank you for the detailed walkthrough. Google Cloud Function truly seems like a powerful way to run your code without dealing with servers. Indeed, Marco. For seamless, scalable, and secure serverless applications, Google Cloud Function is the right choice. And there you have it. A powerful, scalable, and cost-effective way to run your code without the hassle of managing servers. Google Cloud Functions simplify the development process allowing you to focus on building great applications. Try it out and see the difference it makes. And don't miss our next video where we deep dive into real-world use case examples of Google Cloud Functions. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Don't forget to check out the related videos on AI on Google Cloud. Thanks for watching.